From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your evening update. Daniels Roofing, licensed, bonded, insured roofing contractor. 45 years of generational expertise, offering a variety of roofing systems in the North State. Composition shingles, metal, tile, fire safe wood shingles, and spray foam roofing systems. An energy saving cool roof, perfect for commercial flat roofs and mobile homes. With other companies, you may get a foreman or a salesman, but with Daniels Roofing, you get Daniel. Call today for your free estimate. Daniels Roofing, three generations working hard to protect your home and business. Well, as you know, Weather NorCal is the best resource you're going to find here in Northern California for your local forecast, right? But, you know, there's a few things that we do just outside of the weather to make it a little bit more fun. And check out NorCal Ag Report. This is really fun. We, we, we interview local farmers and ranchers, learn about how agriculture impacts our community and how you can become a little bit more active in it as well. So you can go to weathernorcal.com, click on the Ag Report section, right? And then from there, you can watch all the different episodes. You can also access this from the free Weather NorCal app as well. Check it out. It's uh, pretty neat. I think you'll enjoy it. There's also a free Weather NorCal app, as I mentioned, that you can access the NorCal Ag Report from as well. So check that out for free. All right, here's a look at your weather headlines. We expect slightly cooler temperatures tomorrow. So that downward trend continues, but it's, it's, it's just a slight downward trend, right? We also have the thunderstorms moving out along with that monsoon moisture. So any thunderstorms we saw this afternoon, it's done and over with, right? Because that monsoon moisture is beginning to be moving out and we're drying things out. Now the temperatures after tomorrow are gonna to start to warm up again and we're gonna be back up over 100 degrees for many of us in the valley. And the, and the coast, of course, you're not gonna be dealing with rain or thunderstorms or even heat for that matter. The main thing you're dealing with here is the fog that we're seeing along the coast in those low clouds. You're seeing some of that afternoon clearing for an hour or two, but then it kind of comes back into the evening and overnight hours. And we look at your neighborhood forecast at a glance, look at that. Not one triple digit reading on the map to be seen right here. And that will be the case here, even as we look at the extended area as well, because we're just looking at slightly cooler temperatures again tomorrow. Now the winds are dying down. It was pretty breezy and pretty gusty in some areas here, especially in the mountains. And I do expect them to pick back up again tomorrow afternoon, but not as strong as they were today. And that'll be the case again here going into your Thursday. Still a little breezy in Shasta Valley in central Siskiyou County, the Eastern Mountains, but again, not as bad as what we saw out there today. Now, the relative humidity is seeing some recovery in the early morning hours, but then again, it dries out again for the valley. Now, what we'll notice here, and this is good to see, that even though 16 and 23% is low, it's definitely higher than 4% or 5 or 8%. This helps, believe it or not, the firefighters when it comes to fighting those fires, because when we can get that humidity up, it just means that the, uh, the fuels aren't quite as dry, so the fires aren't going to spread as rapidly, especially the ones that are currently burning. So you can see as we go into 6 a.m. Thursday morning, we're seeing some good recovery in the 30 to 40% range, and once again in the 20 to close to 30% range for Western Siskiyou and Trinity County, but still very low in the valley, not to mention in the Eastern Mountains. So we've got the higher fire danger there as well. And you'll see that when we look at the fire weather risk. So for tomorrow, look at this, we're seeing less in those deeper oranges and more right in that high range for the north end of the valley in particular. But look at the mountains, uh, except for extreme southeastern Lassen County, you're mainly in that moderate category. And of course, in the low category for Western Siskiyou and Trinity County. And you'll notice that trend kind of sticks around. It's a little bit higher in that fire risk for the valley and parts of the mountains. But once again, fairly low out towards Western Siskiyou and Trinity County as well. So let's take a look at future casts. Again, the thunderstorms, they're done and over with now at this point. By tomorrow morning, it's mainly that fog along the coast. You can see it does work its way down Highway 101 and some of those inland valleys closer to the, va to, closer to the coast. So that fog, fairly dense in some areas, most likely tomorrow morning. But look at the afternoon. It's having a hard time burning off. We may stick with mostly cloudy skies for the day tomorrow on the coast, maybe a little bit of clearing out towards Shelter Cove. But what you'll notice here, it's dry. No more thunderstorms in the forecast for tomorrow or Thursday for that matter. Let's take you into Thursday morning. Once again, Southern Humboldt County, the coast is seeing those uh, clear skies. However, the fog hugging the coast, making its way down the Highway 101 corridor and even some of those inland valleys. But once again, we go through Thursday afternoon. It is dry. Some of that fog trying to work its way into southern portions of Humboldt, but most likely staying clear. 
and still hugging that coast here throughout the day on Thursday. So the heat, this is something I'm watching down to the south, but another thing that I'm watching is this area of low pressure right here. This right here is gonna be our saving grace in preventing this bubble of heat from giving us an extended heat wave. So yes, it is heating up again after tomorrow, but it's not gonna last forever. So there you can see Friday, it's heating up. Saturday, Sunday, we're gonna see that ridge of high pressure build even stronger, which means even hotter for your Saturday and Sunday. This will probably linger on into Monday of next week, but as we go into Tuesday, Wednesday, this is diving to the south. The dome of high pressure is shrinking, and as a result, our temperatures are decreasing. Why? Because this area of low pressure right here is riding through uh, Canada, and it's helping to squash out and shrink that ridge, break it down a little bit, allowing our temperatures to drop. So we're going up, then back down again towards the next week. Now the wave heights, we're not seeing again much change here as we go into Wednesday and Thursday. So overall, looking at those winds from the southwest at about five knots, waves from the northwest at two feet at six seconds, and from the northwest at three feet at 11 seconds, still dealing with the, that very dense fog, especially as you start heading just off the coast. Look at these temperatures overnight. Isn't this a beautiful sight to see? This is gonna be one of those nights where you might be able to open up the windows, let some of that cooler, free air conditioning move on in. If you have a whole house fan, boy, I tell you what, you're gonna be in some pretty good shape there. It, even in the mountains though, we're looking at temperatures in the low 40s, low, excuse me, low 50s, and low 50s along the coast as well. So let's take a look at our Trinity County neighborhood forecast. Temperatures staying generally in the mid to upper 90s through Friday, but back up over 100 degrees by the weekend and even into early next week. Let's take a look at your North Coast neighborhood forecast. Rio Dell, 67, 88 degrees out towards Alder Point. We we'll take you up north with 90 in Orleans, 94 degrees for Willow Creek, 66 degrees in Smith River. Your Siskiyou County neighborhood forecast, these temperatures should generally be in the low to mid 90s, although places like Doris, McDole, and Tennant, not to mention McLeod, in the mid to upper 80s for your daytime highs on Wednesday. And your Modoc County neighborhood forecast, we've got those temperatures mainly around 90 degrees, give or take. It is warming up though by the end of the week and not to mention this upcoming weekend. Your eastern mountains, mid to upper 80s, some low 90s in there as well. 90 in Paradise, 89 for Chester, 88 degrees for Shingletown, and much cooler in Viola with a high of about 81 degrees. And your valley neighborhood forecast brought to you by NorCal Tractor, mid to upper 90s. And look at this. If you look at the forecast for the south end of the valley, 90s. Let's take you up north, north end of the valley, mainly looking at 90s. Again, could some of us touch 100 degrees? I mean, we're splitting hairs. So much like today, it's gonna to be tomorrow, borderline reaching that 100 degree mark. You can see 98 degrees for Cottonwood, 98 for Red Bluff, and 95 degrees in Shingletown. Excuse me, for Whiskey Town. Here's a look at your seven day outlook for Redding. Yeah, again, right around close to 100 degrees here for tomorrow. Thursday, we're back up over 100 degrees and we'll keep it that way. We're gonna be flirting with that 110 degree mark by early next week. At Wind River Resort and Casino, we like to celebrate life's little moments. Oh. And the big ones, too. Because around here, when you're completely in the moment, that's when the magic happens. Come in and find your moment at Wind River Resort and Casino.